I'm not gonna say. Right now that's over, let's get into the news. The last male northern white rhino has died after some months of ill health, leaving only two left of the subspecies, his daughter and his granddaughter. Hope for these rhinos now only lies in the development of IVF techniques, possibly using southern white rhino females as surrogate mothers to give birth to more of the northern subspecies. And Airbus have a new solution to space junk, a massive harpoon. They are currently testing the one metre long spear and plan to use it to pull unused satellites from orbit so they burn up in re-entry. In other news, the first polar bear born in the UK for 25 years is going to be on display to the public this week. Born back in December of 2017, footage has been released on Channel 4 of the confident and curious bear cub at Highland Wildlife Park in Scotland. A new study published in the journal Nature This Week shows how the different ways that dinosaurs made their nests and what materials they made them out of allowed them to survive in harsher and more diverse environments. Some dinosaurs made mounds out of soil and vegetation and laid their eggs in them, some brooded like birds and others simply dug holes and allowed heat energy from the sun to incubate the eggs. Depending on the style of nest building and incubation, this allowed the animals to survive in colder environments in higher latitudes. Ceratopsian dinosaurs are very well known for having very weird looking frills and horns and the mystery of what exactly these structures were for and why they evolved has been the subject of much debate over the years. Well, this week a new study has found they probably were not for species recognition, which was one of the ideas for their purpose. Instead, they say this strange looking anatomy was in order to display to mates, an example of sexual selection similar to the peacock's tail fan. That's it for this week, thanks again for tuning in, have a great week and we'll see you on Sunday.